It may prove to be one of the biggest ironies in Caribbean history. 18 years ago, a mighty volcano unleashed its fury, blanketing a nation, devastating its infrastructure, crippling its economy, and most importantly, claiming 19 innocent lives. Today, rising from the ashes, Montserrat is pinning its hopes for the future on the dazzling possibilities of geothermal power. Harnessed from the Soufrere Hills volcano, the same deadly force that even today could still be its undoing. For more, we go to Mitzi Allen reporting from Montserrat at 17 degrees north and 62 degrees west. It was a time of devastation that those who witnessed will never forget. I was at home and somebody called and said there was ash coming from the sky and I headed to Plymouth to see what it was all about. Munsrat, a tiny island in the Eastern Caribbean, smothered under a hail of volcanic ash and mud. Plymouth, the once vibrant capital, and the southern half of the island literally buried. The area where we lived previously, that is now no longer habitable. I think it's probably all covered, the houses are gone. I have met Montserratians who did move from, from here to London due to, um, due to the volcano. One of them did say that they would have still been in Montserrat if the volcano didn't happen, but they lost everything. A terrified population fled the country, leaving behind a mere 3,000 of the more than 12,000 residents. Now, years later, the rage of the Safria Hills volcano seems to have subsided, with no major activity since 2010. But for how long? It's not dead. Our monitoring equipment shows that there is still some pushing up going on underneath the volcano. There's clearly a lot more gas coming out than you would expect from a dead volcano. Concerned scientists maintain a watchful eye on the volcano, while the government gambles on the chance that the very power that brought the island to its knees could be an economic game changer. The deafening sound from this steaming well called the Dragon echoes across the island, one encouraging sign of geothermal exploration which could generate electricity by harnessing the heat under the earth. The volcano that we see behind us is really the, the sort of surface manifestation of a, a lot of heat under the ground and you usually get dotted around it to spots where hot water can come up and the geothermal project is, is basically tapping into one of those. Geothermal energy promises to drastically reduce Munstrat's carbon footprint. According to the country's premier Ruben Mead, it will also save consumers money. We anticipate it could be more than 50%, but let's just use 50% as an example. Every household in Munstrat then automatically gets possibly a three or four hundred dollar wage increase because of the savings. Operations are now in the testing phase. The Icelandic company hired by the government has just completed drilling on two wells at a cost of $20 million. If successful, it will take at least another three years after testing for the construction of the geothermal plant. Yet lurking in the shadows looms the threat of another eruption. The sort of estimate is maybe 50-50 that it stopped or 50% that it may do something else. So we've got to be in a state of readiness and watching it. As if that is not enough, geothermal plants come with other potential hazards. Toxic coolants used in the process could contaminate the groundwater. And in places like Switzerland, Germany and New Zealand, the plants have been known to trigger earthquakes. Monstratons are taking precautions. The physical development plan for the north strongly looked at disaster risk reduction as part of the process. So um, they considered issues like vulnerability to tsunamis, earthquakes, and the volcano. What happens if the, something happens with the volcano and the, the geothermal shuts down or we can't access the sites? We're putting in place also a brand new fossil fuel generated backup plant. The stakes are very high. As an overseas British territory, 
as much as 60% of its national budget and 90% of its capital is still UK financed. Yet, Premier Mead boasts that geothermal energy could wean the country off budgetary support by as early as 2020. We're saying to the world, we're here to stay. Ambitious plans are underway for the construction of a new and modern capital town, providing a boost to development and employment. Powered by geothermal energy, this truly green tourist destination will seek to attract lucrative international investment. We believe that Munster has a bright future and we want to be a part of it. We are a rebuilding nation. I think we know how to bounce back and we are doing that and people need to come and see. It's not that we are up here kicking ash on the ground and not, you know, just being despondent. Their future hangs in the balance. As Monstratans take this giant leap of faith, the rest of the world looks on in wonder. Will the forces of nature continue to cooperate? The preceding segment was brought to you by JN International Money Transfer. Finally, a way to help control your diabetes. Introducing Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea. Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea is all natural and sweetened with stevia leaves, a plant sweetener that's safe for diabetics. Cinnamon increases the body's ability to regulate blood sugar. Peppermint is high in antioxidants and soothes the stomach. Take control of your diabetes with Caribbean Dreams Cinnamon Mint Diabetic Tea. It was a night when all was still, that pastry passions experienced a thrill. It could have been the beautiful cakes that made this special little doll awake. A night to indulge in freshly baked products and desserts was enough to make this doll smirk. Now I see why even she couldn't resist taking a bite from the goodies on the pastry passions list. Pastry Passions is everybody's passion. So this is where we bring 18 degrees north to a close for this week. Join us online, look us up on Twitter, on Facebook, send us your story ideas. We're there to keep all of us connected to the Caribbean. From all of us here at 18 degrees north, thanks for watching. I'm Zara Burton. See you next time. 18 Degrees North is a production of Global Reporters for the Caribbean in association with Grace and JN International Money Transfer.